So, good morning, everyone. So, today we will come with a very exciting uh, lecture that is over the data engineering tool in ArcGIS Pro. And you see, a data engineering tool is a very powerful tool and it will be very useful for the data science people. Or you can say a lot of things we can play with the data and we will extract the information. I will really fascinated with this particular tool. So let's start and see few analysis over it. So to give you an idea how uh, we can use this data engineering tool. So I will open already this ArcGIS Pro and I hear from the Indo ArcGIS data, I just type with the West Bengal, okay. And uh, I found there is one very interesting data over here that is India flood damage assessment from 2016 to 18. And this data is really very helpful for different kind of analysis. So let's open these data sets. And see, uh, this is in general, the data which is showing that is a total damage of crops and house and public societies. And it is giving you this data. Let's open this attribute informations. So from this, you will get a various different informations about the states. You can say the area and affected, okay, under the mega hectares, then population affected in millions, okay, and the total damage, okay, so population by effect, okay, so lot of different data sets will be there. And you know, there is a tool which is called a data engineering tool, which you can see each and individual, uh, uh, the informations reflect over this particular maps within a second and you just see here right click if i just simply do the right click and click on this data engineering tool okay and you see there is a various different informations which i can use it here so i just make it in a two window okay so you just see here so i will close this catalog on as of now okay so this i will make a little bigger and I will also make you make you this little bigger so that you can understand how it is the data. So see here, we have a different information of the data and within a click, we can create a different information from the image. Suppose now I want to see how much human life is actually affected in most of the states. So let's see, uh, see number of the human lives lost in 2017 that I want to see and I want to see in the map. So how we'll do that? So simply if you see you, we have options called update symbology. Okay, so if you click on that, so it will second within a second, it will show me which states which lost maximum number of see um, the human lives. Okay, so same thing if you want to see the cattle lost. Okay, so uh, in 2017, uh, what are the most of the states which lose their cattle? So let's see the results, how it is coming. Okay, see. So these are the few states which is showing has maximum number of the cattle loss. So like that, it is actually a very useful tools to represent the different types of information. Not only this, if I come to this, I will go back to the human life event. So because it is it's most of important for us okay so uh and you see if i want to see this uh, by uh, a, a paragraph i want to create so within a second we can create it you just see here we have our options if i click on this paragraphs and you see it will create the paragraphs within a second and you see uh the number of counts okay so if i click on this see 0 to 643 people who died in those states. So if you click, so it will show me those texts which has less affected. Now, if I select this one, so which is actually showing the second, uh, means the, the, that is another one that is more than uh, six for, uh, 64 to 128 people. So how th these are the states which is considering, okay? So if I select this, so see, so there's a high number of uh, deaths, so 128 to 192. So it is going to show me exactly with the state wise. So that is the wonderful thing over here, how you can select just to select this, okay? And that bar graphs informations you can very easily take. So if you want, you can export this as a graphic. So 
that is you can save okay either in jpeg or png definitely you can save that or if you want to export it as a table so that also you can do okay so this is a very powerful tool which we can use for lot of analysis okay so lot of analysis in data engineering tool also you have options to convert your uh, data suppose some projection systems will be there okay and you want to transfer this position system into a different kind of position system so that also you can do see first i will clear these informations and i will go back to data engineering you see if you want uh this is suppose in general the projection system whatever it will be there you can check it under the source okay and the special reference this is that informations will be there suppose you want to extract some particular region and you want to reproject the information so here you can do the projection change also over here only you can change the position change okay i'm not changing it but i will just tell you how yes you can give input data you can give the projection system whatever your target projection system you want to transfer and simply click on apply okay so over this data engineering tool only you can able to do uh, the changing of the systems. so like that we have a lot of options will be there which you if you want to delete certain field over that so that also you can do okay and the many other things which you can do with this data engineering tool okay so this is just wonderful if you see this is just a one data sets i just showing you so if you want you can go with the multiple data also okay so i just simply close this okay so i will close this one i will go back to map okay and then the uh, view tab we have the catalog panel so i will just open it again so now suppose any other data sets if you want to do some experiments okay so definitely you can go and try with some other data sets also so let's see uh, what is the raw data set informations will be there okay so let's open this data i have no idea about this particular data sets okay so just to open and see if there is any information which is coming with this data sets or not so let's open the attribute informations so this is uh, showing the road injuries okay so what are the road injuries is happen in the national highway okay so can we focus over that so this is a national injury cases so national highway this is the injury cases and this is national highway this is the diet cases so why not we can see how much national uh, how much uh, diet will happen in national highway state wise can you be able to check okay let's see with the data engineering tool so i will come to this i will open the data engineering tool and see uh, i will just make it in a side by side so that it will be more beautiful so uh, let's close this catalog window again uh, you make it little bigger yeah now we can see so you see now we have the national highway 10 diet so how many uh, so which are the states which high with the national highway dead so simply i will click in the symbology and see how nicely it will classify that information okay so you can play with the data set so once you having this tool so you really you can play with the data okay so suppose you want to convert it again in in the chart so just to click and you can see state wise it will going to show you which is the highest state of uh, road injuries in 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 terms of diet okay over the national highway so uttar pradesh is is which mostly showing that information so that's all from my side i hope you like this data engineering tool i hope whenever you were start means uh, you want to do some investigations with the data so take your data to your data engineer in rgs pro open the, it in, in data engineering and then do this analysis there is many more things you can do it in uh, data engineering tool maybe in future uh, videos i will come with those things okay i think as of now this is a very useful video for a lot of the people so Please try and use this data engineering tool. Thank you. Thank you very much.